Hey guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we'll see how we can set up the Jenkins jobs to build an application and store the artifacts into the S3 bucket. And then we'll set up a job to execute the Ansible playbooks to get the artifacts from S3 bucket and deploy the applications into the remote server. So let's start. Let's see the project block first. So once the developer has developed his code, he has to push that code into the remote repository. So here we have used GitHub as our remote repository. And once the code is pushed to the remote repository, it will be automatically get triggered by the GitHub hook trigger and it will be sent to the Jenkins. So once Jenkins get the build trigger, it will start building the application. Once the building is success, it will upload the artifacts into the artifact tree. So here we have used S3 bucket is our artifact tree. Then the next build, it will execute the Ansible playbook. So once the Ansible playbook is executed, what it will do, Ansible will get the artifacts from the S3 and will do the configurations. So what it will do, it will do the configuration management as well as deploy the applications into various environment. So either you can use multiple staging environment or queue environment to deploy your applications. So, before so let's log into your Jenkins. I am in my Jenkins dashboard. So let's create a project first. Go to new item. And here we'll create a freestyle project. So just give a name to the project. Suppose I'll give uh, Jenkins. You select the project, it's freestyle. Okay. You give a description. So here our project is a git project. Okay. So select source management code lead and give the rep um, the repository URL. I'm going to use this DevOps web to build the project. Copy the URL, paste it here. So I'm going to use uh, the master branch to build. Okay. Now what I will do? We uh, set out the source code management. Uh, let's uh, know about the build trigger. So let's select GitHub hook trigger for the Git SM poly, and for build environment, just leave it. And go to the build section here. What we have to do first, we have to build our application. Okay, so uh, let's select as uh, invoke top level Marvin targets. Select and select the tools with the Marvin and go suppose clean install package. We added one step here to build the application. So once the application is built, we need that artifacts to be stored into S3 bucket. So our build section is done. Now we have to do the post build action. So after build success, we have to copy the artifact to S3 bucket. So select here, click on the add post build action. Here you can see publish artifacts to S3 bucket. To get this option, you have to install a plugin called S3 Publisher. Select Publish Artifacts to S3 bucket. And here, you have to just use this S3 artifact. So, where you get this S3 artifact? So, let me show you. Go to your dashboard, manage Jenkins, configure system. See one option called Amazon S3 profiles. So here, if you see, I have used S3 artifact. I just created a profile name, use S3 artifact, and I'm going to use use IAM role. Okay, so I'm not going to use any access key or secret key. So before setting up this Amazon S3 profile, make sure you have created one IAM role and provide full S3 bucket access. A full S3 admin access to that role. Okay, so we are going to use the IAM role to connect the S3 bucket. So now save it.
and then you have to search what file you need to upload so click on this file to upload uh, just click on the source so what is the source where you will get this file so I'm going to get it from the Jenkins workspace right where the target I don't want this folder to get copied and destination bucket so you have to give your bucket name here so I have created a bucket already devops wave dot ansible this is my bucket name which I have created let me show you here devops wave dot ansible the bucket is created now select the storage class I'm going to select standard and then select the bucket region which region the bucket was created so I have created in AP South 1 select AP South 1 this is for Mumbai region and now um, okay that's all we don't have to give anything else and um, there are some advanced options are there if you want uh, you can just add it for the time being I'm just leaving all these advanced options and just go and save it now what we did we just created a project to build the application and store the artifacts into S3 bucket. Yet we have not created a project to deploy into to deploy into the server using Ansible. So we'll create another project and we'll link that project into this main upstream project. So let's see. Go to your project now and try to build. And we'll see whether it is uploading the file into whether after building success, it's uploading the file into artifact or not uploading the artifacts into s3 bucket or not so just click build now you can see here the build is in progress okay so the build is success and you can see it here artifacts to s3 bucket and bucket name this and that's also success so let's see whether the artifact tree whether the artifacts have been uploaded into s3 buckets or not so go here and uh, go to your bucket and here you can see the target is there and your file just few seconds before it is uploaded so let's go to your Jenkins so let's create another job suppose Jenkins so your crystal project okay Now, what I'm going to do, uh, so we don't need anything to build, so we are not going to use any source code management to pull the code or anything. So we have to leave all this and the build trigger also we are not building. So we'll set this as a downstream project. So for that, what we have to do in the build section, we have to select the build option to call Inbook Ansible Playbook. So this option is also you can get after installing one ans ansible plugins so you have to just go to your uh, manage plugin and there search for ansible and you'll get ansible publisher there you can just select and install that and once you install you get these commands or uh, these options to select here i am just going to select and invoke ansible playbook and here you have to just give the playbook path so let me show you where i have kept my playbooks i have this folder called as form sent OS Jenkins under Pro Ansible. Let me show you what I have created here. So if you see the uh, host file, the inventory file I have created as so very simple. So I have used Ansible underscore connection as SSH and uh, I have used the Python interpreter as Python 3 because it is going to use the Python 3 interpreter and uh, this is the server uh, I have created an alias this group of web server here I have created one alias called web1 and given the ansible host as the IP address of the host which where the application will be installed so let's see what our playbook contains just open so here you can see I have just created a simple uh, playbook where I have given the host as way one this is the host we're going to use to install um, this uh, predictor sites and install the java and uh, the applications the the things which is required the project or required the application to run 
So here I've created a task. Uh, given few tasks are there. Task. So here first task is the install Java. I'm going to use yum to yum package manager to install the Java. Create artifacts from S3 buckets. So you can use this emotion AWS package, uh, AWS dot AWS underscore S3 to connect to a bucket and download the files. So here you have to mention this uh, package as well as you have to select the bucket, which bucket you want to use, and uh, what is the file. Uh, so you'll just give the folder name with the artifact, like the file name which you want to download. Give a destination of the server where you want to put this file and the mode whether you want to download or put where you want to upload. After that, I'm just starting the server. It's a very simple and simple playbook. I'm going to execute through the Jenkins. So just copy this directory, go to your Jenkins and give a playbook path with the playbook file name. So or the playbook file name is devops app dot just provide this playbook information and then just provide the inventory as well so inventory also present in this location and i'm going to give hosts this is the inventory file name so once you select these two options uh, one is your playbook path and uh, this host uh, now you can give or become as true or you can just leave it all these options and that's credentials and all what is not required because simple web apps and we are not uh, using any vault to provide it here so now our uh, ansible deploy this uh, deploy project is done so let's build and see whether it is connecting to the remote host successfully and deploying the application or not okay uh, you can see here the build is running and if you select it here we'll see you can see here the task is being done. Okay, console output you can see the task is being done and it is finished. So the application is now installed. So let's connect to the web server and check whether our application is deployed successfully or not. Go to your browser, the IP address and the port like 8080 and application name. The so this is the application which we had deployed. So here you can see our application is deployed successfully and this is up and running. So version is 1.2.9. So let's quickly do some changes to this text and then see whether it is getting reflected automatically or not. Okay. So before that, what we have to do, we have to do a small changes to our project. We'll set up the upstream and downstream link. So just go to your Jenkins. And here, uh, if you see, this is our upstream Jenkins Java S3. So this is the job which will build first and then it will trigger the downstream job. So uh, how you do the setups, so just to configure. And in this configure, if you go down and you select one post build action, you can see here build other project. You can see one option is called build other projects. Select it and here the build other project and give the project name. So the project name is Jenkins Deploy Ansible Remote. Select it and we have to select the option is called trigger only if build is stable. Okay. Now you can see here in this project, we can see we set up a downstream project to execute. So once this project is completed, or this downstream job will automatically get executed okay now we did all the setups so let's go and do some changes to our template this is my development uh, server okay where i will just uh, change the code just this is the template file i'm going to change here suppose i'm going to change the version as 1.3.0 Geo. Set the file. So once you save, you have to add it and then commit. Then push the file to origin. 
So now we post our code to the remote GitHub repository. So as soon as the code is post, a webhook will be triggered, an event will trigger and that will trigger the Jenkins build. Now we can see one build has automatically triggered and it's in pending status now. So let's wait, it will start running. So it is now. So what it says is that uh, the build is success and uh, it has uploaded the artifacts to S3 bucket and triggered the job, the downstream job, Jenkins stapler and something. So if you go here and check this Jenkins Ansible, the Jenkins Stapler Ansible remote, it has deployed as well. Okay, it has executed successfully. Now let's go and refresh the application page. See here the application has automatically changed. Now, now the application has been deployed successfully and the version has been changed to 1.3. Hope this is clear to you and, and you understood how we can do the setups in Jenkins. If you have any doubt or any questions, please do comment me in the comment section below. I'll try to answer your questions. If you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe. You'll get notified when I add more videos on my YouTube channel. Thank you.